Hi, uh, I'm Dan Pryor. I'm playing Seymour Crowborn in Little Shop of Horrors here at the Lyric. Yeah, Seymour, it's interesting. You know, there's such a history of attachment to that, like, nerdy persona. The sad sack of a character that is just the, the kicked puppy. Uh, and one of the things that Rachel and I talked about right from the get-go was there's always been within Seymour this kind of this hunger and this a little bit of darkness to him. That's what the plant amplifies. So Seymour definitely has a lot of that self-deprecation and he has a lot of that lack of sense of self-worth and he's certainly awkward and bumblingly charming. But you know, I, I think there is a real edge to him that can come out in this piece. Uh, I think my absolute favorite moment is any time the plant gets to be seductive. When we get supper time, the plant gets to sing, come on, come on, come on. It's just this wonderful little interplay between the music and the puppeteering and the characters in this space of, of just really feeling that, that pull that, uh, that I think this play is all about, that lure to the dark side. So I've actually done Little Shop before, and I played Mushnik at age 13. So uh, the director thought it'd be funny to cast me as the, as the old man. The interesting thing about this one that surprised me more than anything, we get to see this juxtaposition of Seymour as the hero that we get in a lot of traditional versions of this piece. You know, he's this tragic hero. And in this one, I don't know that Seymour is redeemed, um, which I think is absolutely wonderful. It's a much bigger cautionary tale. It's much more of a morality play than I think it's been done before. I mean, honestly, I feel like I've been preparing for this role my whole life. I'm Dan Pryor, and I'm playing Seymour Crowborn in Little Shop of Horrors at the Lyric Stage, and we run from August 31st to October 6th. Crash, 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 cr